this season, we've partnered with MasterCard in support of their Strivers Initiative, which I've been honored to be a part of. All season long, we're going to highlight and celebrate amazing black women business owners. Yes, sir. Our next guest is the owner of Kama Bookstore and Social Hub in Flint, Michigan. Please welcome Egypt Otis. It's amazing, you know, to see you and what you're doing. What made you want to open up a bookstore? I would say first started when I got my GED. It really paved the way for me to opening up a bookstore. Mm -hmm. And at that moment, I felt like I could pretty much conquer the world. Yes. And that actually catapulted me into going to college. It introduced my love of books, and I felt like, oh my goodness, more people need this information. They need this access. Right. And that started my work in activism and also advocacy-related jobs. Mm -hmm. And I pretty much wanted to start a business, a bookstore, my whole life. And then the pandemic happened. And I unfortunately lost my job. And at that moment, it gave me the courage and the circumstances to pretty much open up my own business that combined advocacy, that combined literature, and those personal experiences I grew up with. Listen at that. Thank you. And how is your bookstore making history? Oh my goodness, so I am the only black woman-owned bookstore in my city, so I feel an immense amount of responsibility mm -hmm. to make sure representation is there. So we've become really the epicenter for anything multiculturalism. We also support a lot of local talent, musicians, artists, nice. provide them with the platform for the community to hear, and we're here two years later. And that is so you. awesome. I love that you're paving the way for others. Yeah. Okay, we've heard about Flint because of the water crisis. What do you want people to know about Flint? Right now, Flint's going through a renaissance period, mm -hmm. and we're seeing this burst of art everywhere you go. You can see a mural. You're going to hear music. You're going to see local talent. So I, right now, we're really trying to figure out like who we are right. with the water crisis and things that's been happening in our community. We're really starting to change uh, the page, pretty much. And we're starting to just be this, this place of creativity and opening new businesses and really good stuff coming. You were recently featured in MasterCard's commercial for Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. Yes. That's major. Yeah. It's unbelievable. I'm still having a difficult time processing it, to be honest with Do you. Do y'all see this? <laughs> you guys have it. That is awesome. Oh my God, that is so powerful. Wow. Like you're making such an incredible impact. Like you. you ever think your story, when you came up with the concept to come out with a bookstore that you would, you know, impact so many. Oh, oh my goodness, no. You know, I really just wanted to make an impact in my community locally and to have such an opportunity like this to be part of the MasterCard Strivers Initiative and to be featured in a commercial right. in a movie that I consider a cultural touchstone yeah. is of greater significance to me. Like, yes. it's, it's been crazy. That is crazy. So amazing. What would you tell other people who have a dream to open a, up a business? I would say to challenge yourself be comfortable with being a little bit uncomfortable. Mm. Invest in yourself and take the risk because it's worth take it. The risk. You know, live in your purpose. Why not? That's a beautiful message. Yeah. Right? Thank you. I'm curious to know <laughs> what's next in store for, you, for your, your business. Well, of course, I want to sustain it and stay open, mm -hmm. but I really do measure success by impact. So I want to be continuing okay. to make an impact, but of course, you need capital, you need resources, That's right? That's right. So MasterCard has been very grateful to my bookstore. They gave it a makeover. They gave me capital so oh, I can sustain cool. my business. So I want to take my mission mobile, and I want to have more of a larger impact in communities such as mine who has low literacy levels. So I'm working on some stuff to have more of a wide initiative, so. You yeah. will, I Thank believe you. it. Good looking out, MasterCard. Well, I think you're incredible and so does MasterCard. MasterCard wants to keep spotlighting black women business owners who have an impact on their community and provide tools and resources to help their businesses thrive. So they're giving $25,000. <laughs> yeah!